Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miyaruko chan episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, um, we got uh, to see the teacher, the new teacher, the new substitute teacher. Um, he probably doesn't suspect anything. I'm not sure it's if he's he doesn't realize that this is this is these are the same girls that we that I met, uh, or if he is not pretending to. That's what I'm not sure about. But it does feel like there is something going on with him, not only with the little uh, things that are possessing him. Uh, those are cat spirits, I think. They were like meowing. Uh, not only that, but there's another female ghost that's also kind of, I don't know, following him around. So, yeah, that's something. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're probably going to get to see what that is about within this season. Like, I think this has like 12 episodes or something. So this is the 10th one. So within these two episodes, I don't know if we're going to get any conclusion to that, but we'll see. Um, uh, that was what happened in the beginning. And then in the next part, we go to the um, haunted house <laughs> uh, made by the Miss Donalds or something. <laughs> What's the name? I can't remember what the name was. <laughs> but, um, oh no, Mrs. Donuts. That was the name of the... Um, fast food chain and um yeah they had like conducted a, a haunted house thing uh whoever will uh, will be able to get out will be given 20 donuts hana had to go and this is the first time miko is actually able to scream and you know raise her voice after seeing ghosts because the go actual ghost was camouflaged within the other actors who were acting as ghosts so <laughs> she, you know, it's like this is the first time she actually was able to kind of say that don't follow me. And that kind of like, you know, lessened her burden a little bit. She was like smiling happily and running away. <laughs> so yeah, that was ha what happened. So yeah, now uh, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 10 of Miruku chan So I'll put in the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay. What's happening? Why does so many grows? Don't know. Wait, who's the... Oh, this guy. This guy's name is Tomo. Huh. Going to... Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wow, this guy is, um, yeah, something that, wait, why did he throw, what is happening? He threw it away, what? Okay. Hmm. Oh, they uh, put a net on that so that
एंड विल लॉस कैट रिवॉर्ड सो दिस गाइज इंजर किलिंग कैट्स इज दैट वॉट हैपनिंग लाइक ओके द ओपनिंग विल नॉट बी शोन बिकॉज ऑफ कॉपी राइट ओके सो वेट सो दिस गाइज माई गॉड ही लाइक द द ओल्ड लेडी द लेडी सेट दैट कैट्स आर गोइंग मिसिंग yeah so and like crows are messing the garbage dump up and this guy is throwing something in the garbage dump this guy has blood on his hand okay um like i don't know like it like i feel like they they're making it like you know they they're kind of showing it as if i'm still not able to put my fingers on it but i feel like i feel like something else is going on like maybe i don't know let's see let's wait and see Like obviously he's doing something because otherwise there won't be those cat spirits on top of him. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> yeah. How? Huh? Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's not healthy. <laughs> she she eats every time. All the time she has something in his hand. <laughs> yeah, they they just walking. <laughs> while others are just running <laughs> wow and she'll be even more hungry after this <laughs> yeah that's oh no i feel like something's going to happen okay here we go i knew something's going to happen oh <laughs> wow we have a competitive um ghost or Huh. Huh. Because like yeah, maybe not. Maybe just walk. <laughs> okay. Oh my god yeah she obviously she's going to get oh, oh whoa 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 The... <laughs> my god this this guy has Oh my god the ghost will the ghost will be mad Oh my god look at it <laughs> Ah Oh my god <laughs> Well Yeah, it's following him. Oh no, if he chooses her. If he chooses Miko. Yeah. 
what type of a story are they reading oh yeah the the these things are also there these are cat spirits i think yeah they're meowing oh my god wait 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 what happened oh my god also oh, this thing is possessing him yeah yep oh my god yeah that's what's going to happen and this time since Miko can see this thing it'll be even more difficult and she can't even react oh maybe 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 those spirits can help you know those divine spirits that's always helping her I, I remember we still have one chance left She's not looking at him. Calm down, lady. What type of a s literature or whatever are they reading? It's like... Um, what's the matter, Sensei? <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you, Hana. It's the first time your hunger actually helped us. <laughs> wow. Okay. Imagine going to the infirmary because you're hungry. I think something's the matter. Maybe because there's so many spirits hovering around here. Maybe that's why she's getting more hungrier and she's... I think so. Yeah, now he, he suspects something. You know, like after seeing Miko and Hana. Yeah, oh my god, it's related. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Am I dying? Oh. She's like, can I go to the washroom, please? <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, this lady. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, and the class was boring, so I came. <laughs> Second breakfast. Wow. She's going to devour it. There you go. 
Wow. In a matter of a second. <laughs> Will that even sate her hunger? Like, this is like three candies. There you go. Yeah, it is connected with uh, with the teacher because There you go. <laughs> because like um like what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, not because of that. I'm yeah, she, she's not seeing the bigger one. She can probably see the uh, smaller ones. Yeah. The more... No, she attracts them and also destroys them. It's a weird thing. Um, do you know? Oh my god, she's gonna misunderstand again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> hmm. Well, what else can we do? Misunderstanding. So Miko can properly like she she can kind of guess what's happening, but she properly doesn't know what that life aura is and how it works. Like she replenishes the life aura by eating, it attracts ghosts, and using the life aura the ghost also gets destroyed. So it's like a weird type of a thing. Like it attracts the ghosts and destroys them as well. <laughs> oh my god can we get a break yeah <laughs> Wait, she cannot see life aura, but Yulia can see. Yeah. Yeah, she needs to do something. Because who knows if this has some kind of long lasting effects or something. Hmm. Wait, I feel like Whoa! Oh my god! 
Oh no, that was a ghost. Oh no. Here you go. Your last chance is gone now. Oh my god. Yeah, there, there goes your last chance. Wow, that was a... Um, that was a tricky one. Oh my god. We... Um, Leading. <laughs> okay, no more help will come after this. I think so. This is the last one. What? Wait, I did not. What did she say? Yeah. Yeah, three times, two times. Yeah, number of times they'll help you. That's obvious, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, that... Ooh, oh wait, we still have one. Okay, was I making a miscalculation then? Oh, we still have one chance left. Okay, I was making a miscalculation, I think. Oh, so three more times, not three times. Okay, after that, this is the second time she got helped after that incident, the one in the shrine. So another one time left. Okay, it makes more sense now. Like the way they explained it was kind of a bit unusual. That's why I wasn't able to understand. The first time in the shrine, the ghost said like, uh, no, the, the spirit said three times. I thought that the three times it included this time, which means two more times. But turns out that was not the case. It, it meant three more times. That is total four times they'll help you. The first time was in the shrine. The second time was in the... Um, Wait, when was the second time? I, I can't remember. There was some something that happened the second time it helped. The third time was in the tunnel, as far as I can remember. Yeah, and this is the... Third... No, wait. No, no, no. I'm making... Oh my god, I'm getting... Mixing everything up. Um, the first time was in the shrine. The second time was in the tunnel. The third time is here. And there's another time left. That is the fourth time, which is still left. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is there something left? Yep, there is. Let's see what this is about. Ooh. Oh, these girls. Why are showing him, her, them? Oh my god. Whoa. Um, yeah, that's definitely not shady at all. Oh no. Yeah, this is the person. Is this Zen? 
Oh god. Wait, what is that? Run! What are you standing there for? Uh Whoa, whoa, just... <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, so that was it. Um, this was episode number 10. Now, here's the thing. Um, you know what? This is actually kind of giving me mixed vibes. First of all, um there's a weird thing that's happening here number one they are showing zen and they're making it seem too easy like they're, they're like you know giving us so many hints that actually kind of point that probably he's doing something to the cats but at the same time that is the thing that actually strikes me as really weird like why are they giving us so many hints like that so that's number one. Number two, that I think that strikes me weird is the ending where we see the guy who I'm guessing who was trying to harm the cat. They don't show that guy's face. Like, what was the point of that? If if that was Zen, then they they could have shown his face, couldn't they? Like, this type of a thing actually does not make any sense, which probably gives me a different idea. I feel like. Um, <clears throat> He's not killing the cats. I feel like he, he's doing something else. That's what I feel like. Um, like, you know, like, I, I don't know if the guy in the end was Zen or not. But I feel like he's not killing the cat. He's, but he's doing something else to the cats. That's why there are so many cat spirits which are hovering around him. Like, it feels as if they're giving us too many hints that are actually pointing towards the direction of this. He, he is killing the cats. For example, number one, the, um, you know, the, the uh, blood, the blood in his hand. Uh, they're suddenly showing us the blood in his hand. And at the same time, the, the lady, she's saying that, oh, you know, like, uh, cats are going missing. You know, the, uh, like, this is happening for a few days now. Which obviously indicates that, yeah, this guy is doing something to the cats. Like, it, it's, it kind of makes us feel as if the anime is wanting to tell us that, yeah, this guy is killing the cats. Which, most of the time, whenever an anime kind of does that, it usually turns out to be wrong or something different. So, I'm thinking, maybe this guy is not killing the cats, but he's doing something to the cats. That's why he has so many, um, I don't know, cat spirits uh, around him. So, I don't know what he's doing, but there is something. Like, other, otherwise, why would the cat spirits be hovering around him? Like, if, if this is like complete, um, what do you call it? Like, if this is like a complete false lead, then there would be no cat spirits hanging around him. So, he is doing something to the cats, that's for sure. But he's probably not killing them. I don't know, this is just something that I think. So, yeah, that's number one. Number two, there's this weird female ghost that's hovering around him, who is possessing him or something, something's happening. So that's another thing, which is kind of weird. So these two things and <clears throat> like, first of all, this guy is kind of creepy in a way. Like, <clears throat> like, you know, like um, he's kind of acting in a weird way. And that the whole thing of like, you know, his going to the room and like, you know, putting the, the food that the old the lady gave him, uh, he's like, you know, putting it in the bin. Like, that was extremely weird. Like, why would you even do that? Like, like what? Why? Like, why throw the food away? What's the point? Like, these type of things. Like, I don't know. Like, this, this guy is really weird. But at the same time, I feel like they're trying to make this guy look like the bad guy. And in the end, there will be so, probably some kind of revelation that, yeah, this guy is... Probably the bad guy, but still he's not as bad as we think. Something like that, I'm guessing, is going to happen. Or maybe, I don't know. Like, uh, the, the, like the biggest thing here is the spirits that are hovering around him. Especially the cat spirits, which kind of indicates something is, he is doing something to cats. But we still don't know what. 
So yeah, that's something. Like um, you no, know, in the end, the person who goes to the cats with that that thing, I don't know what that was. Um, it it made us feel like seem as if he's trying to kill the cat. But maybe it is Zen, and maybe he's trying to do something else to them. I don't know. Like, okay, this is like I I should probably try stop trying to figure things out. I'm sure they'll tell us eventually. Um. Okay. Anyways. Um. So yeah, this is uh, this episode here. Um. The f first of all, we get to meet that um <laughs> ghost was running on the track field. <laughs> Miko was like, at the beginning, Miko was like, you know what, let me just run. And then when she realizes that the, the ghost is very competitive, she's like, yeah, maybe I'll just stop and just walk, just like Hana is walking. Yeah. And then there's this whole thing in the classroom with the ghost staring at each and every student that was reading out. Each and every female student that was reading out. And it's like, don't look at him, don't look at him. Like chill <laughs> my god and like n nothing is the problem for the other g girls like obviously they can't see the ghost but for miko it's, it's like a very big problem like, it's, like when, she, when she is she was picked to read this uh, book the ghost is like on, on top of his uh, top of her face and everything thankfully hana was like yeah i'm, I'm hungry <laughs> let's go to the infirmary that really helped them. Now, here's the thing. Um, the whole thing with Hana, the life energy thing, as far as I could understand, the life energy thing is a very weird type of a thing. Uh, number one, it gets replenished by eating food. Uh, it gets replenished and, you know, like if you eat more of them, you'll get more life energy or something like that. Uh, number two, it attracts goats. Number three, it attracts goat, but still it actually destroys the ghost. When, if it comes close contact with life energy. For example, in one of the previous episodes, we saw the bigger ghost, you know, frying, you know, roasting some smaller ghosts in it and eating. So it means that the life energy is something which is similar to fire for us humans. Like, you, like, you, know, you burn yourself if you try to get into this. Not you, but ghosts burn themselves if they try to get into that. So... That's why I'm saying this is weird because it attracts ghosts and at the same time it destroys ghosts. So that's very weird. And another thing we kind of understood from this episode is it gets used up as uh, more ghosts are in the vicinity. It gets more used up. I'm guessing it's like, you know, like it's kind of like um, some kind of a, what can I say? Like protective thing or something which is protecting Hana. At the same time, it's attracting ghosts. So, yeah, but it acts like a protective thing. So whenever like ghosts are within the vicinity, it gets used up or something to, I don't know. And maybe that's why like, you know, like it got used up so much that Hana became hungry. So another thing, this, this whole hunger thing goes two ways, two, two ways. Uh, if she eats, she replenishes the life energy. If a life en energy gets uh, reduced, she gets hungry so it's like a two-way thing so <laughs> i'm guessing it's something like that now here's one thing that i never thought about that this episode kind of made me realize miko can't see the life energy yulia can't see that like that's the real weird thing here um as miko says here i cannot see life energy while um, Yulia can clearly see that. So this is like a difference that I actually under, like, you know, realized in this episode that Miko and Yulia has. Since Yulia cannot see bigger ghosts, um, Miko can see the bigger ghosts. At the same way, um, Miko can't see the life energy when Yulia can see it. So that's like another weird thing that's like, you know, that kind of caught my attention in this episode. Because I remember in one of the previous episodes as well, uh, Miko, uh, Yulia was able to see the life energy. So something like that. And uh, yeah, like uh, Miko never saw the life energy, never sees it. She only sees the ghosts. So yeah, that's something I, I never realized up until now. So 
yeah and obviously the whole section was filled with misunderstandings yulia was like <laughs> yulia was like oh so because you uh, there are so many ghosts there that's why your <laughs> life energy got reduced and miko stood up surprised genuinely surprised which obviously yulia misunderstood and Ms. yulia was like wait uh, oh i messed up she, she's going to <laughs> she's going to kill me now <laughs> and when miko was like uh, we need to talk she's like nah not today i'm going back to class and she runs away <laughs> so yeah but yeah this is temporary misunderstanding i'm sure it'll go away probably <laughs> so yeah and <clears throat> that was that and then the next part is the part which was the most surprising where the ghost completely tricked us um like like what the hell was that like it was the, the ghost was actually not camouflaging yeah camouflaging or like you know taking the appearance of a normal kid he even had a balloon in his hand so like how are you supposed to like differentiate between that she's staring at miko and she's like hi the, the little kid was and like what are you supposed to do then obviously miko like you know waved back and bam it's over it starts rushing at you trying to kill you so <laughs> i'm guessing these type of ghosts are also like they're like th 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 there's a lot of different type of ghosts with a lot of different personalities as far as i can see there are a few ghosts who actually doesn't care about anyone they just do their own thing there are a few ghosts who actually try to i guess like you know uh try to interact uh, like act normal as a human for example you remember the ghost in the um uh in the dress uh in the dressing sec section who was acting as like a uh, employee that that type of ghost who, who 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 tries to act like a normal person like a normal human being and kind of plays the like you know the thing each and every day like like a routine kind of do the same thing over and over again for example that uh, as i said that employee ghost he she probably stands there and does the same thing over and over again whenever a new customer comes she just stands there and she's like uh, it looks good it looks good or something yeah i think that's what she was saying yeah uh, it looks good and um all that stuff she she does stuff like that uh, so yeah number one there's this ghost who doesn't care about anything they just like hang around number two these type of ghosts who de repeat these type of routines this in today's episode we saw another type of ghost who actually like i don't know like lay, lay straps to actually trap you and get to you like this one he actually laid a trap so that miko messes up and as soon as he realized that yeah this girl can see me like that's it just lunged at her so and i'm sure there are a lot of other ghosts with a lot of other different personalities as well obviously that other ghost who actually swings the axe tries to take possessed ghosts out of them there's another ghost who actually um eats the other ghosts like so many of them and there are obviously good ghosts who are like the nekomata like the uh dad you know the, the wife of the uh the guy this the scary looking guy like so many different type of uh ghost with different types of personality and different the different ways they act <clears throat> so yeah like <laughs> wow like that that scene really surprised me i was not expecting something like that like suddenly it transformed into like a monster and just attacked miko wow <laughs> like i I was thinking for a moment there that that the the little kid I thought that it was like the good ghost or something like you know like it it I kind of got that feeling that maybe this this is like a ghost or something or a good ghost you know like it's just like the dad maybe it's something like that who is just you know waving hi but then like when it suddenly transformed I got shocked I was like oh it's not a good ghost it's it's it's, it's one of the nasty ones so yeah now then we see the spirits the divine spirits they come in and one of the divine spirits gets flattened 
Uh, I'm sure he's she's she's fine. <laughs> you know, she's probably going to pop out. <laughs> but yeah, now um, <clears throat> this now I made a little calculation error because the way they actually explained it was kind of weird. In the shrine, the the uh, divine spirit said three times. I thought the three times included the time that they was in the shrine. So I thought two more times. So that's why I was thinking, oh, this is the last time because the second time that they had to do this was in the tunnel and the third time is this time. So I thought, oh, it's over. I thought that was the way this is going. But since that's not the case, the, the divine spirit said three times means three more times, not three times, including this one. So that means the first time that happened after that was in the tunnel. The second time is today. Third time is left. So we still have one more turn left, which is good, I guess. Like, you know, and I don't know why Miko never really caught on to that. You know, like they were literally shoving the number on top of your face. You know, the, the bigger device spit, they were like three times, you know, after that, like two times, like obviously at that time, you should be able to understand what they're implying. They're implying that, yeah, two more times will help you. But I don't know why Miko did not, like, you know, understand that. But probably she was, like, you know, shocked at that moment. So she probably wasn't able to, um, you know, actually realize what they're trying to say or, you know, actually compute what's happening. So, yeah, that's probably the reason. So today in this episode, she was able to realize, oh, they're actually telling me how many times they'll help me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So... So one more time, like I feel like the, the last time they're, they're going to use it in the guy, the guy, you know, the, the, the ghost, the, the female ghost that always follows uh, Zen. I think probably for that they're going to use the last turn, like something's going to happen. Maybe Miko will somehow mess up, the female ghost will go for her and maybe uh, the divine spirit will help her and that'll be the final time they help her. So I don't know, we'll see. Now that was that and then in the end we see the two girls who we were, see we were seeing in the, uh, in the school, classroom, uh, they encountering a hooded man. Now this can go two ways, either this guy is Zen or it's someone else. Like I, f I don't know, I feel like it's... I feel like it's Zen, I feel like... like I don't know like I feel like it is Zen and it and the thing that he had in his hand what was that like actually like I just a sec this is some kind of a weird um I don't know it had two um pointy ends oh god I don't know. So, wait, just a sec. What was the cat playing with in the first? Just a sec. Let me, I'm checking that part. Is that a tail? Oh my god, I'm noticing it now. No, wait. Oh no, or is that a leaf? Okay, it's too dark. I can't see anything. What is that? I'm sorry, I can't see. It, it, it kind of feels like it's a tail, a cut tail of a cat. But uh, I don't know, like maybe it's a leaf. I'm not sure. It's probably a tail of a cat and... Okay, now the thing that he brings out of his hand is like a weird type of a instrument with two you know two pointy ends with smaller pointier ends within it i don't know what it is but i don't think that's something you use to kill cats so it's something completely different that's why i'm thinking like maybe this is someone else or if this is zen he's not killing the cats he's doing something else to them and the the and if that is a tail of the cat that the other cat was playing with like i don't want to think this but maybe he's Oh my god. 
I don't know, chopping off tails of cats? I, I, I have no idea, like, <laughs> okay, let me just stop. I'll stop trying to guess stuff. I'm sure they're going to answer our questions later on. So yeah. So yeah, that was it. Um, that was uh, this episode. This is episode number 10 of Miruko-chan. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Miruko-chan. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.